From the best man to the ring bearer, the wedding party will share many responsibilities and duties leading up to the big day. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with wedding planner Maddie Kay for some wedding party etiquette. What is the role of the best man and the maid of honor? The rules have changed so much and it varies, and especially now with wedding planners. The rules for maid of honor and the best man on the day of the wedding is very limited. Obviously, it's, you still have to make a toast, you still have to make a speech. The best man more so than the maid of honor. But in other instances, rules would be to host a bridal shower. But nowadays, a lot of mothers and mother-in-laws are getting involved in this as well and they're doing bigger events. Where yes, the, the maid of honor is involved, but she's doing it with the parents, the mothers from both sides. Um, as for the best man, obviously you've got the bachelor party, which is the hugest thing, and him and his buddies plan. But nowadays, again, more and more the grooms are getting involved and they're dictating on what they want to do, whether to go to Vegas or whether to do it in Miami or do it here. So the rules have changed quite a bit. Are there any other responsibilities that the bridal party has? It depends on how elaborate your wedding is. Something very simple could be if you've got programs during ceremony, the ushers, which is the groomsmen, would be responsible to distributing that program to guests. Uh, something else would be the florist might deliver the boutonnieres and the bouquets and one of the bridesmaids would be in charge of distributing those to the right people, making sure that the bride has her purse or her makeup when, whenever she needs it. Um, one of the groomsmen, typically either the best man or the brother of the groom or even sometimes it's not even the groomsman, it's the father um, of the bride or the groom that would be responsible for envelopes, you know. Um, at the reception who would be in charge of that moving it to put it in a safe area so that you know no envelopes are missing same thing with gifts they would be responsible for that and then maid of honor usually makes sure that they're bringing back everything that's of sentimental value for the bride such as the guest book um, the knife uh, for the, the cake cutting knife the champagne flutes and anything else that has a sentimental value. Now what are some good gifts to show your appreciation for the bridal party? The great gifts over the years have been more personalized. When I say personalized, it's personalized to the person they're giving it to, you know? So you you think about it. Did you know that your maid of honor loves jewelry or she's into antiques or vintage collections, you know? So you give her something that's more personalized to her. For men, cufflinks have been very popular and also it's nice because they end up wearing it on the day of the wedding and it becomes of sentimental value because they look at it and say, we wore this on so-and-so's wedding and it stays throughout the years. For bridesmaids, jewelry of course is very popular. Some people love purses and nowadays you know big purses with like flowers so that they can hold it at, re at the ceremony as well. So they all think of doing something that's more linked to their wedding so this way you can remember it whether it be purse or a brooch that you put on your bouquet or uh, something of sentimental value. Is there anything else that we need to know about the bridal party? Make sure that you make your selections smartly. Don't put somebody just because you've had that person in your life for years and years since you were kids and you put them just because you have to. Think of now and think of the future. Who are the people that are dear to you and who are the people that you see that will still be there years and years to come? Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome.